Whereas most of us see just a bunch of rock and sand, LIDAR reveals much more. By peering into the sediment and mapping out different layers, different parcels of time, it gives us glimpses of Hell Creek's past, its ancient geological events like floods, droughts, volcanic eruptions, and where Dakota fits in. You start building up this picture. It's not just a rock anymore. It is a snapshot in time. It is a place which, if you can close your eyes, you can go back to now and reconstruct it. So far, what LIDAR has been able to reconstruct is the lush environment Dakota lived in. 65 million years ago, the planet Earth was a very different place. If you're out there in space looking down, you wouldn't recognize our planet. There was a huge inland sea taking up vast areas in the Midwest of North America. The sea and the rivers that fed into it made Hell Creek prime real estate in the late Cretaceous, allowing all sorts of large animals, including our hadrosaur, to thrive. Over the eons, the dinosaurs died off, the rivers dried up, new land formed and eroded away. But we still find traces of that old, wet west. LIDAR indicates a large river cut through this area, within 100 feet of Dakota's final resting place. If it had moved just this 100 feet, it would have completely wiped out our fossil. With these macro details of Dakota's watery world in hand, the scientists can now begin to make sense of the micro, the actual river sediments that make our dinosaur mummy up. Sedimentologist Dr. Joe McQuaker believes Dakota didn't just spend time near water, but under it. Otherwise, microorganisms would have completely devoured the remains. That can't have been the case here. We know here that the dinosaur has been replaced by the mineral iron carbonate. Iron carbonate, it turns out, comes from microorganisms too, but from bacteria that live in environments devoid of oxygen, like at the bottom of a river. These bacteria also feast on dead animal, but in much more minute quantities than their air-breathing counterparts. They'd produce the iron carbonate as a byproduct, and over time, that mineral would get compressed back into the animal's remains. That's how you preserve this dinosaur. The sediment findings, together with the LIDAR data, establish in remarkable detail the environment the animal died in and what may have happened to it shortly after death. Results that could explain Dakota's remarkable journey and pave the way for bigger and better dino mummies.